go for it. Hit it, Mitch. <laughs> All right. CSR, you take on. We, everybody here? <laughs> we're here. CSR, we're back for another Zoom, guys. Uh, we And I, I got to confess really quickly. I apologize to everybody. I didn't get to upload the episode last week. So uh, I don't know what happened. I think me and the uh, silent manager must have just been tech guy. Must have all been asleep, I guess. So uh, we'll, get them, uh, we'll get them both posted up. Uh, we'll get them uploaded tonight and we'll get, we'll get tech guy on them for tomorrow. Perfect. All right, man. Um, again, I'm Doug. I'm Steven. And I'm Justin. This week's Zoom episode, we're, we're kind of confused a little bit on our numbers, but we're going to go for it. Yep. Episode 20, Zoom edition, opening day. It should be a national holiday. It, it should. I, I agree. That and the day after Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree with that. So, all right, man, let's get right into it. Um, and, and just so you guys know, I was actually watching my Redbirds before I finished this, and it was a freaking slug fest, so. Oh, y'all, yeah. go ahead, y'all go ahead and hit your braves first because y'all actually got a win. So go ahead. Braves. 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 Yeah. Braves. Uh, we beat the Nats um, seven to two. Um, <clears throat> biggest news out of that game Max Fried went out with a hamstring injury, I believe. Mm-hmm. I believe it was a hamstring injury. Um, but I mean, it's always nice to get off with a win. Um, you know, get started with a win. No big, like, we didn't have any home runs. We didn't do anything like that. Just, you know, solid baseball, um, solid pitching, you know, pretty good win. Yeah, I, I, I agree on that. Um, I sucks. I think I think Snickers said that Freed will be out 15 days possibly. Um, but it doesn't seem too serious at the moment, at least. Uh, yeah. Shout out Olsen. He's starting on his, his double train. He had another double today. Um. So I, I'm liking what I saw, seven to two, good win, and uh, Acuna had hit the first stolen base of the year. Oh, cool! Oh yeah. So, all right, one and zero, you guys. Hey, y'all play again Saturday? Because uh, that's how, that's that's how it seems that they're doing this year. Like we played today, we're off tomorrow, and then resume Saturday. Probably, yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of weird how they do that, but yeah. So, all right, cool. Anything else, Bray? Yes, Go Braves. Go Braves. Good job on the win. All right, so my cards, we're in a slugfest. Um, we ended up losing. We were up We were up nine to nine to eight in the t- in the bottom of the ninth at home. Our great reliever, uh, Helsley, comes in. We lose 10-9. Damn. Uh, there were 34 hits between us and the Blue Jays in that ballgame. God. We gave up. 19 hits. Cardinal Pittsburgh gave up 19 hits. Jesus. So, uh, Toronto's loaded, man. Toronto's got a good lineup. And, uh, you know, as, as us three, uh, you know, we – and, you know, we're in the fantasy baseball. And yeah. Actually, I ended up with, like, three Blue Jays. I didn't even realize it. So, all of them, <laughs> all of them had good days today. But, you know, I was hating that. Um, but, yeah, man, 10-9. I mean, Cardinals hit the ball. They had two bombs, um, O'Neill and Donovan. Um, Arenado had a decent game. Goldsmith got a you know an RBI. Um, but the biggest thing out of that is just pitching, man. Can't give up ten runs, man. I mean, you not you score nine, you expect to win. Yeah, no kidding. So, but I just quick note I wanted to talk about Contreras got hurt. Sorry, Stephen. Um, okay. He took a hundred mile an hour uh, fastball from Hicks to the knee. Oh, walk it off, buddy. Uh, so he limped off. I think we're thinking it's a contusion. We'll see. Um, but real quickly, uh, rookie uh, Cardinals rookie Jordan Walker, I just want to talk about him. He made his debut today. Major League debut. He's 20 years old. He's the first Cardinal position player to make his Major League debut since 1990 or 81. Uh, oh, nice. Got a hit on his first at bat. So he already got that out of the way. So he had a decent game today, but just want to give that guy props. He's 20 years old. Shout out to him. So, hey, Cardinals – Get a day off. Maybe all pitchers can get some rest, and we'll come back strong on Saturday. <laughs> there you go. All right, cool. Anything else, Major League guys? Just this opening day, man. I agree with you, Stephen. It should be. It should be a holiday, man. It's it's an exciting thing, man. You know, people love it, man. 
Oh yeah. Especially baseball people. Yeah, exactly. So, but yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, that's a good statement. So, is it still uh, is, is it still our national pastime? Uh, no, I don't think anymore. <laughs> Maybe with them speeding up the game, it might be more people might start watching. Did y'all watch Possibly. any Brave game today? I was working. Yeah, I, I was watched working. the Cardinal game, and I that's what I, I was going to comment on that. The the whole pitch count, you know, clock thing. It, it's it's interesting. It's different. Um, there were actually two cases where they called. You know, they they violated it today, and they started with the counts one and over. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, so it's going to be an adjustment definitely. So get ready for it when you're watching the game. So heard that. All right, cool. Well, well, some other Braves news, too. I think we extended Arcia. I think we gave him a three-year deal. Oh, you did? Yeah. 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 Wow. Which is uh, nice. I like that. Yeah, me too. I did see where Judge hit his first home run today on his first pitch. Good God. Yeah, first pitch, home run. So, Good Lord. He's picking right up. <laughs> yeah, they're kidding. All right, cool. Uh, just, hey, man, all I can say is go Cards. Go Braves. <laughs> All right. I want to just we'll update college basketball real quick. Um, Final four this weekend. Yeah. Um, it's interesting, man. You got two five seeds, a four and a nine. And in the first game, you're going to have, you know, San Diego State against FAU, Conference USA, baby. Yeah. And then you got the ACC, you know, Miami carrying the, carrying the flag against UConn. And UConn looked good the other day. Yeah, they they smacked the crap out of Gonzaga. Yeah, and Miami looked good coming back and getting Texas. So there's no telling what's gonna happen this weekend, guys. <laughs> well, it's kind of cool. Three out of the four teams have never won a national championship. So yeah. I think that's kind of that's kind of cool. Yeah. It's complete I, opposite of, of last year's final four when it was all the what was the blue bloods, you know, the, the blue traditional blood. yep. the there's traditional the colleges, and now this year it's just complete chaos. Yeah, and you know, for the record, I mean, I'll, I usually pull for the ACC unless it's Duke. Um, yeah. I'm a, I'm actually going to pull for FAU because it's Conference USA with my Niners. Uh, but yeah. if Miami wins, I, you know, I'm, I'm cool with that. I like right. Larry Nago, man. I love him as a coach, man. Those guys love playing for him. Makes all the difference in the world. Yeah. So, but it, it should be, it should be two good, you know, two good games this weekend. And then the final, you know, the, the I guess the championship will be Monday night. So. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Anything else on on as far as NCAA guys? Because I was going to update the NIT for a quick. Um, no, I mean Caleb Love. Yeah. Um, and transfer portal, which and, and, I'm not too I'm not too sad about that. I expected uh, it. I expected it, guys. I got. Hey, be there's honest. there's no love lost there. Yeah, I mean he gave us he gave to Hills fans, you know. A memory forever last oh, year, yeah, of course. and and you know we'll always appreciate that for that. But something just wasn't right this year with him, man. Yep. I, I don't know what it was. There were rumors about him and Davis fighting over, you know, a girl and all that on the basketball team, all that crap. Um, so I don't know, man. I don't know what happened, but you know what? I don't wish nothing bad on the guy if he transfers oh, somewhere. And you know, good luck, man. As long as he doesn't go to Duke, I'm cool. <laughs> I agree with that. And we did. Did we announce last last episode Davis is coming back? I can't remember, but yeah. go ahead and hit it again. Yeah, so th that's good because I'm a Davis fan. I like Davis. Yeah, I agree. Justin, give me some. Give me some comment. Give me some. Go Hills. <laughs> I mean, I haven't paid attention to the final – or, you know, the final uh, – Final four. Yeah, the final four, so – We'll read up for next episode. We'll let you start that segment. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> great. It has nothing to do with Carolina. Well, still, you got to cover it, Big Daddy. Um, all right, man. NIT championship games tonight, 930, and it is two Conference USA teams, an all-Conference hey. USA final. Number four, UAB, is at number two, North Texas, 930. Let's go Dragons. That's pretty cool, man. I mean, that's that's pretty cool for Conference USA to represent having three teams like that in two, you know, the two tournaments. So, pretty pretty strong. So, hey, hats off to Conference USA. And the Niners winning the winning yeah. the um, the CBI. Whatever. There you CBI. go. CBI. And I wanted to note that you brought the Niners up there, Stephen. We had we had two people, two players actually hit the portal this week, which was actually surprising. 
to be honest with you, is considering that they did win that postseason tournament. Right. Um, okay. And one of them was Bryce Williams, who was Henry Williams. You know, it's his son who was a who's a Niner legend. So there's a lot of people who were like, you know, that's not a very good look. No. For, for him to transfer like that. And so, you know, it is what it is, man. I mean, we hate to see him go. Um, but you know, the transfer port has opened up a whole new new ball game, man. Yeah. I did see where Kansas and Carolina, who were in the finals last year, have lost eleven players between them in the portal. I mean, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. I mean, that is nuts, man. And most of those kids, you know, that's their dream school to play at. Yeah. You know, they just, I guess they get those offers, the NIL and all that, and they feel like, you know, hey, I got a way to get out. I'm going to go try to play somewhere else. I mean, yeah, I mean, the NIL deals across all college sports, I mean, it's just kind of changed the the, the scope of everything, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Good or bad, but. All right. Anything else, college basketball guys? Nope. All right. Uh, go, go owls. <laughs> <laughs> I get on the owls. Hoo hoo. All right. Cool. Uh, all right. Nice NASCAR. Now, Steve, we're gonna let you take this one, Big Daddy, for obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I will gladly take this week for NASCAR. Uh, j- just, just the the other series. Zane Smith won the Truck Series. Almadera won the Xfinity Series. And then uh, Tyler freaking Reddick wins the Cup Series race. Had the best car out there by far, being the fastest of practice and qualifying second. Um, and he led 41, I think, of the 75 laps. Yeah. So, he dominated, uh, man. Yeah. I mean, he just – there was one move. Uh, he was he passed Truex on, on the inside or something like that. It was just a beautiful move. I even went back and watched it. I was like, my God. Um, I don't know what, what it is on a road course when he gets on that thing, but it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, man. But yeah. congrats, congrats on the win, sir. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yeah, Justin, Justin, okay. Justin, I'm gonna let you go next because I want you to talk about Chastain. <clears throat> Chastain's rolling, man. He's yeah. racing good, man. Like he really is. Uh, I mean, he's there in every single race, pretty much. Like top tens, yep. pretty much. Other th- other than that one race, um, which he finished like thirteenth or something like that. But I mean, he finishes fourth in this one. Uh, I didn't get to watch the race because I passed out. So. <laughs> um yeah but i mean kudos to to reddick steven you got the you got the first dub right yeah yeah appreciate yep. you uh, but hopefully chastain gets him a dub here coming soon chastain's running well man I, I i give the dude credit man he's um he's been consistent like you said other than the one race he, he's been consistent right now and you know guys when we update the standings i'm updating it playoff standings yeah. Um, right now, Chastain's sitting fourth in the playoff standing without a win. Right. So, I mean, you get, I'm you're actually sitting third. I got him third. I swear if I get another so, Truex year. Yeah. So he's, he's, he's going <laughs> to, he'll get one, man. He'll get a win. He's running too well not to. Um, Harvick. Harvick's running steady, man. He was up to second at one point in the road race, which is not his forte. Yeah. Wow. He ended up finished eight. I mean, he started, I think, 39th or something like that, 29th, I mean, and ended up finishing 13th. So I'll take that. You know, yeah. I'll, I'll take that. Um, right now, um, I'm showing as far as playoff update, you know, standings. You got Byron. Byron is actually leading. Dude, dude is killing it. I don't know what could happen to him this year, but he yeah. is out murdering it. And Bowman second. So, I mean, they're both right there. And then you got Chastain, Bush, and Logano. And then just always update our guys. You know, Reddick's sixth. I mean, he's all the way up to six with that win. Yeah. And, he's uh, turning Harvick, around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Harvick's, Harvick's eight. So, I mean, we're all right there in the top ten. So, we'll take it. Heck, yeah. All right. You ready for my next race announcement? Please do it. Next race is Sunday, 3.30, the Toyota Owners 400. At Richmond Raceway, Richmond, Virginia, 400 laps, 300 miles. There you go. And it's called and that, the Action Track. Action that, Track. That's a Harvick track, too. Harvick won there last year. So, we'll see what happens, man. Maybe we can get him a win this week. So, we'll see yeah. what happens. 
And then uh, Truck Series is the only series that's not in Richmond. They're in Texas. Okay, cool. All right, boys, if we're done with turning left and right and however we did last weekend, uh, <laughs> let's hit that Let's hit that, that place we go to. We're going to actually do a Zoom. Zoom. Oh. <laughs> and we're, we're going to do it a little bit different since we're not with each other. Um, yeah. So you guys go first. Tell us what y'all cracking, and then I'll tell you what me and my my lovely wife are cracking. All right, uh, Justin, you tell us what you're you're cracking. <laughs> I'm cracking an ice cold bush light. Bush light. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. The, That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, bush Sorry. light. Well, I'm I'm going to crack me a ranch water hard seltzer. Nice. Hell. Is yeah. that our first seltzer on the crack zone? It is. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. I don't think I've had a ranch water. They're kind of, they're kind of pricey. I, at the local Harris Teeter, I found it marked down. Um, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So that's that's my kind of price. That's yeah. All right, so, so here we go. I have Lenny Boy Brewing Company. And we got a we got a creature of habit, ooh, and it is a as as they call a hell's lager, oh, and it is a five point four percent, oh. So we're gonna crack this bad boy open right now. All right, here we Three, go. Two, one. <laughs> Everybody sniff your beer. A little sniff taste. Oh god, it was like Cheerios. <laughs> Cheerios. <laughs> yeah, what flavor seltzer is that? Is that it says original? Um, okay. So it's made with 100 percent agave and natural lime juice. Nice. Yeah. Steven's going snooty on us this week. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> nice. What well, if it makes you feel better? It's not bush koozie. Okay. Hey, there is nothing wrong with a bush koozie. That's yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, let me. Uh, I've already done a little smell here. Let's. <sighs> mm. That's a lager. <laughs> She's a lager. That's a lager. I mean, that's that's this doesn't have a doesn't have a much of an after aftertaste. Yeah, it's pretty smooth actually. I like that. Cool. So if we're doing any numbers, I don't know if we are. We can get them before the episode ends. How about that? That works for me. Any problems with that, guys? Nah. All right. I'm looking over at the wife, and I'm looking at her face to see what she thinks. She made a pretty good face over there. Yeah. She's, <laughs> she wasn't over here, like, vomiting or anything. So we're good. That's a good sign. All right. Cool. Hey, what's up, Dave Kings? Um, last I just saw, I think they're tied 2-2. Yeah, Two I'm watching right now. Yeah, with the Red Wings. So, um, and they have a chance to, I think, clinch the division pretty soon. Well, they're up three on on the Devils right now. Uh, yeah. but, but the Canes have been man. They they're in a losing skid, man. Yeah, they've been struggling. Um, they've lost the last three out of four, and all three of those losses were at home. Yeah, and Tampa Bay spanked them. Yeah, and, and Tampa Steve sent us a, a text making excuses about how we just came off a tough Boston loss. I ain't, I don't accept excuses. You got yeah. spanked for nothing in your own building. Yeah. and so uh, I don't, don't want to hear that. Appreciate that, Tampa what, Steve. They allowed us to arena in NHL, too. Yeah, I mean, you got you got spanked. You didn't get beat two to one. You got beat four to nil. Four nil. <laughs> four nil. So, yeah, but Canes, man, you know, I mean, losing, what's his name, Steven? Schmabikop. Yeah, I mean that that's a big loss, man. I mean you can't blame it on one player, but it is it's it's a it's a regular, you know, player. And I mean, got, essentially it's a star that. it's a star player. I yeah. mean it's one of our star players. Yeah. Gotta overcome that. So, yep. Um, but right now sitting thirty or excuse me, forty seven and seventeen and nine, first in the metro or, or metropolitan. Three points up on the devil, second in the Eastern Conference, sixteen points behind the Bruins. Well, we ain't we ain't Obviously, we ain't going to catch them. By the no way, way. If, if Sarah's around, tell her I said FYT. No, she heard you. Don't worry. She gave you <laughs> a finger. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hey, be more original than that. I get that all the time. 
<laughs> All right, cool. So, like we said, playing the Red Wings tonight, we have a tie tie game in the what is that second period? Yeah, eight minutes left. All right, cool. Is that all canes? Justin, uh, anything canes, buddy? Go canes. Perfect. All right, Hello? cool. <laughs> FC. Steven, talk a little about Charlotte FC. I'll talk about Charlotte FC. Why not? Um, last game we had was a draw 1 1 against the New York Red Bulls. Um, and we didn't even score. It was an own goal by Andres Reyes. Uh, thanks, guy. Really appreciate that. We needed that. Yeah. Um, it's been struggling. Um, I mean, the Red Bulls, they're, they're our right team, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know what's up with FC right now. Um, but our next game is in Canada versus Toronto FC, 1 3 and 1. Right. And, and that is how they're listing that. The, yeah. the draws are in the middle. Yeah, so three draws for Toronto, which, hey, you're getting points. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, yeah. So, as far as just news for FC, I don't really have anything. I did want to make a comment on that, the new kit. Oh, yeah. I like, I like it. Yeah. It's, you know, it's got purple, it's got Panther blue let, you know, numbers and, and, you know, lettering. The You know, it's got the pink stripes, the, the I guess it's Adidas stripes. I, I like it. I think it, I think the purple and the, and the Panther blue looks, looks good. Um, I've heard some mixed reviews on it as far as the pink part of it, but I think it's fine, man. I think it looks pretty good. I do I've too. Seen, seen people walking around with the jerseys and stuff. They look good. Yeah, I think it looks good, man. I think, you know, like I said, to each his own, but I, I like it. I think it looks good. Yeah, and and just to talk about that St. Louis expansion team, I'm pretty sure they're undefeated still. Oh, they are. I don't think they. Yeah, I don't think they've lost. So I don't know. I don't know why we couldn't get the expansion team. <laughs> yeah, unlike <laughs> unlike the St. Louis baseball team. <laughs> oh well, it's one game, Ducky. There's only 170 more. Well, you know, I, you know what I said after the game, right? 161 and one the hard way. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so. All right, cool. Let's talk about the Panthers. Panthers. Panthers news. I don't well, have a ton of stuff, guys, but let's 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 go. Let's talk about our new addition, DJ right. Chark. What do you guys feel about that? DJ, I love it. I like it, even though I was calling him short or uh, I called him Clark. That's um, all right. You know, I will say this, guys. I didn't know he had had ankle surgery. I just saw that this week. Yeah. Um, I mean, apparently they weren't concerned about it or they wouldn't have signed him. Um, but I did think that was interesting that that wasn't talked about until after we signed him. I mean, that can be part of negotiations too, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah it could have. Maybe that's what was taking some – maybe that's not why we gave him a one-year deal because he was yeah. – hurt at the beginning of last year and then he just had ankle surgery. And yeah. ankles are pretty important for a wide receiver, yeah. um, if, I think. So, I mean – I uh, mean, that's part of the, that's why we gave him a one year deal and not like a two year or three year like we gave the one, you know. And it did say he he should be ready for OTAs, yeah. So, you know, that's good. So, and I'm going to shout this out one of our unsung heroes of this offseason. We've been praising Reich, praising Reich, praising Reich as we should and fitter. But Deuce Staley's the one Deuce that's Staley, getting, man. Deuce Staley's the one that's getting Miles Sanders and DJ Chart. And they, um, they both, both, and they they both, both said that. They, they both gave him full credit. So, um, I mean, hell of a hire to get to get Dukes in here. Yeah. So. What else we got, Panthers? Oh, so let's talk about Richardson's Pro Day. Did you guys get to see any of it today? I saw, saw him through the ball and hit the ceiling. Yeah, well, they, they, the, the report on that was he did it on purpose. Yeah, sure. Me too. Because they said that Levis had did it, and people were saying he was he was like, well, you know, I'm gonna do it just to do it. So yeah, I will say that. this. I will say this. Watching what I saw today, um, right. you know, and I and I've I've been on the show saying that you know, being a Florida dad, I've watched him, and the dude's got an arm. I mean, the guy can throw the ball eighty yards. Um, but to me, the way I see it, you got to have some touch too. And, yeah. I, you know, you can throw the ball 80 yards, but if, if, if you're not accurate, what, what difference does it make? 
Yeah, you can throw the ball eight yards, but if your receiver's at 60 yards away, you know. Yeah, you well, yeah, what difference does it make? So I'm not hating on Richardson at all. I think he's got some raw talent. I think he is a hell of an athlete. Um, I just, you know, there was some praising today. People were saying good things. And, you know, but, but all I saw today that they kept showing was the just rearing back and slinging it down the field. I didn't see a lot of touch throws. And I told you guys a long time ago that, to me, accuracy is his – that's his Achilles heel. Right. right. So that's probably designed today. That's why you didn't see it. Oh, of course. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, so we'll see. You know, I, again, I'm not hating on the kid. And I don't want anybody to think that. I'm not. I mean, I, good luck to him. I just don't think the way this Panther team has been built and constructed, he's not what we need right now. Oh, No. No, not not trading up to one to get that. Uh, I know Figger actually praised him, and and Steve Smith praised him. Right. Uh, and you know, like you said, good kid, all the athletic tools in the world. But I do see the similarities with Cam. I think Cam is a little more accurate, but they both throw a hard ball. Oh yeah. I so agree. I mean, and that's hard. You know, when you got somebody that's ten yards on the field and you're throwing a bullet pass every time, that's what gets those balls to pop up. If yeah. it just hits him in the chest and pops up. Freak athlete, I will say yep. that. So you know, whatever happens, happens. I still say it, it. I still say the Panthers are looking. You know, I still say it's going to be Stroud, but I do think Young impressed them. Um, I, I, I'm kind of changing my decision. I think it might be Young. I, well, I'm kind of getting that sense too, to be honest with you. Um, I, I was Stroud, 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 but I mean, y- y'all can talk about this too. Like, I'm thinking it might be Young. Just, it, may, it may be y'all. I don't know. It may uh, be. So my my thoughts on it are I think that Reich and Josh McCown are straight Stroud. Yeah. They want Stroud. I think that Fiddy and um Tepper want young. Yeah. You know what, Justin? I, Justin, I think you might be all over that. I th- I think there's I think you're all over that. I really do. Well, and it's, am I, the height does concern me, like we've all talked about, and his and his weight um, concerns me too. But someone had posted like, if if Bryce Young was six three, would this even be a con- like conversation? Yeah, I saw you that. Know? I saw that, Steve. Yeah. So I mean, the dude has all the talent in the world. It's a durability. It's 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 those issues. But I don't know. Like I just after that pro day and and stuff like that, I'm leaning a little bit more towards Young than I was before. I can tell yeah. you that right now. I mean, Steve Smith, I thought Steve Smith was going to drool all over him. Yeah. I mean, he was talking about he wanted his first signed jersey, all this stuff. So, yeah. um, I, you know, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm i feeling like you are, Steven. I really do. And, I, Justin, again, I think you're all over the, the assessment of of the split. I think there is a bit of a split between the, the committee, as you want to call it. Right. Um, but I, right now, man, if I had to call it, I was saying Stroud, but, I, man, Steven's all over that. I, I, I don't know what I, I'd say right now. Well, I, I just don't want it to be like the whole, you know, you brought Reich in to do his thing. You've given him the reins for the whole coaching staff and everything, and he's done an amazing job. And then all of a sudden you're going to be like, no, we're not going to get the guy you want. We're going to get the guy we want. I agree. I think, I think at the end of the day, honestly, they're going to go with whatever Reich says. They're yeah. going to come to a, a – a collective agreement of who they want. I don't think it's going to be like when rule is here, um, it's whatever rule says and what Tepper says. I think it's going to be a collective. We're all going to talk. We're going to make the best decision. Uh, I mean, they've done their due diligence with pro days and, and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't think it's going to, they're going to override and say, and Tepper's going to be like, Oh, I want young too bad. You know? Yeah. Right. Steven, I think, I thought, he's, I thought, I think I thought, he's taking a step back. I thought for a second there, Steven, you were rule when you said at the end of the day, <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> I got flashbacks, man. <laughs> PTSD. But, yeah, man. What's out with that? But no, I, I agree with you. Yeah, right now, and think about it, guys. We are a month exactly today, a month from the draft. Yeah. So a lot can happen in a month. You ain't lying. So let's just sit back and we'll keep up with it and we will definitely talk about it on this podcast. So um anything else, Panthers related guys? You got anything else? No, the only thing I'm going to say is we're all going to have to get together because PFF might not be what we need to use anymore because they've kind of got a lot more strict with their mock draft simulator. Oh, have Just, 
Yeah, like you can only do two rounds for free. Yeah. Um, you get a daily limit. Oh, wow. Stuff. So we might have to look at different avenues to do mock drafts. Everybody's wanting you to pay. Yeah. Uh, nice. Um, guys, I did want to say, and we, we can talk about it off the record and you know, off the air, but um, you remember last year we actually went to a draft party, you know, with the Lake Norman. Oh, know, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm thinking we need to talk about that because maybe we'll, we could do something like that again and we can move our episode or whatever, but we'll talk about that off. Yeah, so, like, yeah. Since, yeah. Since we're recording on Thursdays now. Cool. Sounds like a plan. All right. So the only other NFL news I had is the NFL recently approved that teams can play more than one Thursday night game. I'm sure teams are very thrilled with that. Oh, yeah, I love that. And the number zero has been approved. And, and you know, last year it was funny. I remember making comments about how it looked like J.C. Horn was wearing zero. Yeah, and somebody made a comment. They're saying he's already acting like he wants to get me change to zero. Well, somebody said that's funny on Twitter. They said that's funny because it looked like he, he was doing that last year. He responded. Yeah, I think it, he responded to it and said that was intentional. Yeah, I think it was against like Atlanta or something like that. Yeah, because I remember making a comment at the game. I was like, man, he looks like he's wearing zero. So I like it. I think zero looks pretty cool. Yeah, Jason at zero jersey would be pretty dope. Yeah, I think it'd be cool. You'd have, to, already you'd have to change your jersey there, Justin. <laughs> That's fine. I'll put a piece of black tape over it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hey, just, just fold it like he did. Just, yeah, like, yeah. just like NASCAR. Just use some duct tape. I'll look just as good. <laughs> yeah. there you go. I look just like them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We get, we're down to about five minutes, five, six minutes. So, Justin, I'm happy to pass the torch to you as our resident Hornet guy. Man, it's team rolling, man. Go for it. I was, and I was gonna get jump back on you. Um, <clears throat> well, real quick, real quick though, uh, one more football thing. Okay. They did not pass it. The the review on roughing the passer. Oh, bull I did. Crap. I did see that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's. I mean, I don't know why the teams wouldn't think that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, I think that's kind of stupid. Sting is like sometimes it, it comes down to a stupid call and it, it changes the entire game. But I, I think the rule needs to be adjusted anyway because some of the calls last year were ridiculous. Oh, so bad. So that needs to be amended. They need to they need to work on that. So yeah. Yep, I agree. All right, to the Hornets, everyone, attention. So the last Hornets game we covered was the Pelicans, where we got our bo- booty smacked. Yep. Uh, since then, we've been whooping them. We've been whooping everybody that's come through. Um, we beat the Mavericks twice in a row, which is pretty big. Swept them. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, Tuesday, we beat the Thunder by three points. And that was like a – it was just scoring all over the damn place. It was 130. PJ, PJ went off. PJ went off. Oh, yeah. 137 and 134. A huge, huge scoring game there. Um, tomorrow night we got the Bulls and guys. The season's coming to an end. We got five games left. Yep. Whew, thank God, <laughs> five games. And it looks like if we, I mean, you know, if we stay where we are, we are um, like fifth worst in the league. Perfect. Uh, right now we're twenty six and fifty one. Start tanking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and instead of tanking, they're 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 playing well, man. And they're not, and all the starters are pretty much out. Yeah, those young guys are playing hard, man. Yeah, but that's so, your local your local Hornets news. Cool, and still, it still haven't heard an update. Jordan has not sold, correct? Go, get, get rid of it, dude. Get <laughs> let go. I think in negotiating right now. <laughs> so, all right, guys, uh, we're we're down less than three minutes. So that's that's all we have, right? Anything else? Well. Now we got three minutes. Go. The Mac Daddy's coming up, Stephen. The WrestleMania. What just happened? Was that Justin? I don't know. <laughs> he kind of went off and then just went away. Okay, I thought it was my I thought it was my phone freezing. No, I heard it. it was like a you know I don't know man it was a weird sound. Is Justin still with us? Hello. There he okay. is. <laughs> okay. Did y'all hear anything? We heard you. You faded out, man. 
Oh, we heard you say, we heard you say Russell. I think you must have got hit with a freaking pile driver. Yeah, <laughs> must have. I don't know. Well, anyways, WrestleMania is right around the corner. Steven, what's your big prediction on on the big fight? Uh, Cody Rhodes is going to win. All right. Cody Rhodes. I think. Yeah. It's got to be the end. The, the rain is over. No pun intended. Yeah. But a little yeah. bit, right? Roman yeah. Reigns. Yeah. Yeah, I've been here. I've been reading a lot of stuff too, Steven, on that. I think they're getting ready to push Cody Rhodes big time. Yeah. And it's well deserved. I think he deserves it. Oh, yeah. I agree. But yeah, I think that's a good one. So when is, when is WrestleMania? The first Saturday. and the second. Saturday and Sunday. So it's coming weekend. Yeah. Nice. Final four weekend. Way to go, Vince. I know. Or is it Triple H? Uh, probably Vince still. Yeah. I know Triple H is probably in there too. So, all right, cool. Anything else? Yeah, I did. Steven, I, I, wanted, I wanted to add, Stephen, that you and I are matched up right now in the fantasy play of baseball. Yeah. And the last I checked, we got a pretty good game going. So, I know we were tied the last time I looked at it. <laughs> yeah. So, and it is interesting the way it works, you know? Yeah. So. All right, guys, less than a minute. So, we're down. We good? Yeah. We're good. All right, so guys, the plan is in the studio next week, correct? Yes, sir. All right, cool. All right, guys, uh, again, appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll get these episodes uploaded, all right? Yay. So, you guys ready? We're ready. Three, two, one. We, we are. We are. <laughs> C. S. R. <laughs>